pay. So I don't want to um, tell you. I hate to inform you, but I'm going to tell you. Let's be honest here. Um, you're going to die. I'm going to have to kill you. Yeah. Uh, I don't really want to do this because, honestly, like, it really goes against all my policies. I've never, it's not what I want to do, but I have to do it or to tell you the truth, it's, you know, um, if I don't do it, they'll kill me. Right now, I can't afford. If it was just me, I, be, I'll tell them, kill me, because I can't. I'm not a murderer. I don't really want to kill anybody. I don't want to kill you. I have nothing against you. But, as I was saying, this is my job. You were so against having guns, people owning guns. You were, I mean, I'm not making excuses, but you really were on the gun control side. Didn't you know that this is going to happen? Didn't you know that once they take away your rights, you have nothing, you have no sort of protection, that you were essentially stolen everything your your rights were taken from you you know so now how are you supposed to defend yourself you could have a gun and that's what it's for is to defend yourself otherwise you will be killed right now you're in this situation because you had no way to defend yourself and first of all let me explain something okay I do want to tell you that you are going to be killed and that I'm going to do it since I'm going to do it I really want you to just calm down and just relax I want to put you at ease I don't want you to feel you know I don't want you to feel nervous or worried or scared I understand those are natural feelings to have especially when you know well, you're not quite sure how long you have, how long I'm going to grant you. Um, I do want to say that, personally, it's scaring me too because this is not something that that I really want to do. Um, I'm not somebody who kills people, but I'm. This is my job right now. I'm in the military. You know, and they, this is what I have to do. I've been trained to do this. I have a family, okay? I have kids. So, I'm doing this because I have a three-year-old daughter. If I don't do this, they will kill me. And I can't do that, you know? I, I have no one to take care of her. And she's too precious to me. I gotta, I gotta be there for her. So, you don't have any kids, do you? You have a nephew? I'm sorry. Here's what I'm going to do, okay? I'm going to um, ask you. Because, personally, I feel like I should do this. Not many people have the opportunity um, when they know that they're going to be killed people don't know so they don't really have much time to think about their lives to review their lives and to see what they would like um, to make amends with but I would like to give you that opportunity can you please stop screaming please calm down just please trust me I'm I really don't want to do this, but can I just, I'm sorry, you're making way too much noise. I really have to cover your mouth. Um, just please don't be nervous. Just calm down. I'd rather do this, okay? I'm just going to cover your mouth. Open your mouth, please. Okay. Sorry. 
sorry, you're just making way too much noise. Anyways, like I was saying, um, yeah, so I'm going to give you the opportunity to make, to give your, your soul, give your heart to Jesus Christ. Just, I want you to say a prayer. You don't have to say it out loud because I cover your mouth, but inside, please just accept God as your Savior. Just do it. I mean, what harm is it going to do? You're going to die. There's no denying this. I'm going to kill you, okay? Now that you know that you will die, I'm not going to tell you when because I don't know when I'm going to do it. And if I didn't have a daughter, I would wash my hands of this. And I would, uh, I would say kill me because uh, there's no way I'm going to take somebody else's life. But I kind of have to right now. Okay. <laughs> so if you just um, close your eyes and just think about your creator right now. And he's with you. He's with me. He's with all of us. He's surrounding this planet. There's evil, of course, you know that. I mean, obviously, we, we are killing people. We took away your rights. We took away any weapons that you have to take care of yourself, to defend yourself or your family. We took that from you. Now you have no way. And that we we are trying to take away your rights, but we can not take away your soul. Okay? It's really up to you to come to terms with with yourself and with God. It's up to you, and I'm giving you this chance. I'm not doing this I'm not telling you to do this to please me, because it's not going to please me. Murdering somebody does not please me. In fact, I know that is something I should not be doing. And I will have to come to terms with that. But it's, I'm taking care of my daughter. I'm making sure that she has me in her life. I can't not be there. So I have to do this. And if I don't do this, if I didn't have my daughter, I would say, I don't just get rid of me. But I can't do that. So, oh, do you want to know what's in here? This, this holds the poison that I'm going to give you, okay? It's in this wand, and uh, I'm going to give you it with this water. All right, uh, let me just tell you something, though, okay? This makes it very quick and painless. You're not going to feel it. You're not even going to really know what's going on. It's it's the most humane way that we do it now. We don't shoot people. I'm sure some of us do, but personally I choose to give them this poison, but it, it's not going to, it's going to do it in such a way where you don't feel pain. Okay. I think that time is coming up because once I, I give you this, it's going to take about, let's say, half an hour to maybe two hours for it to be to completely register, and then um, before you know it, you're going to feel a very euphoric sense. It, 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 this is going to cause your DMT that you have. Um, do you know what DMT is? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. You have that thing. <laughs> well, anyways. DMT is the uh, chemical that's released right when you're about to die. And it kind of guides you to the next spiritual plane. And it takes away the shock. Even the pain. But you're not going to have pain with this. So I'm going to give you this. Okay, let me show you how it looks like. All right. I'm going to 
gonna give you this and I chose this because if you look this you're gonna eat this and I'm gonna give you some water to take with it it's flavorless it's coated inside it has the poison this is the the kiss okay it's the kiss of death This kiss of death. You have about a half an hour for it to start going through your bloodstream. I guess it was very painless. So you're not going to really realize what's going on. But your mind will start to break down. The DMT, the chemical will break down. And it'll give you more understanding of what's going on. You're not going to be as panicked. But I want you to be as relaxed as possible. I want you to um, think of what I'm saying and really take to heart what I'm saying because this is serious business. Have you believed in the Lord? Have you had God accepted God as your Savior? Jesus Christ as your Savior? Mm. No? No. Well, I'm giving you this chance to, so I'm really asking you just to look in your heart and just to be humble, you know, just, just let your pride, put your pride on the back burner, on the back burner, that's all I'm asking, okay? Alright, I think it's time, um, I'm going to give you this. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid, my dear. Everything is going to be okay, okay? I'll be with you this whole time. And God's going to be with you. The angels are with you right now, actually. They're around you, surrounding you. Okay? Just come to terms right now that you are about to embark on the next journey. Your soul will still be alive. Your body, your shell, that you have right now. You're just merrily, merrily a shell. And you're not going to have it forever. It's going to diminish. But your mind, your mind can't, cannot disappear. It cannot cease to exist, you understand? You will still exist. Okay? So... You just need guidance. So right now I want you to close your eyes. I'm going to take this off. All right. I'm going to take this off. And I want you to say a prayer with me just to let God into your heart. And to tell him, forgive him. Ask God to forgive you for your sins. And to be with you. And you want to say that out loud? Let me take this off. Oh my gosh. All right, be quiet right now. I'm going to have to slap you. And don't you dare ever do that again. I cannot. I, no. I'm putting this all away again. You know what? I tried to give you a chance and you don't want that. Well, that's your soul in eternity. Okay? Okay. I'm going to give you this. I'm taking this off for a second. Now I put it back up. You already ingested that poison. It's inside of you right now. And you know what? I told you it's only going to take 30 minutes. And I would have given you water, but you had to go and spit in my face. Well, I'm sorry. I gave you a chance. I can't. I can't do this. This is taking too much of a toll on me. I just can't. I can't do this. Listen. All right? I'm just going to be. You're going to start feeling it. I'd say any time now, any moment now, you're going to start understanding that you are about to die. And it's really going to, um, you might start feeling euphoric. Do you feel that? Are you starting to feel euphoric? Okay. You are. Are you starting to feel, you're starting to feel the effects 
What do you see? Do you see um, lights starting to come in? You really feel it right now? I can even see your eyes. Your eyes are starting to look different. You're looking beyond me. Okay. One more chance, please. Just ask God for forgiveness, okay? Just ask Jesus for forgiveness. Ask him to show you the way. Have your spiritual guides guide you to take you to the next level. I know what you did was hurtful to me, but that's just us. That's a human ego. I should not, personally, I shouldn't worry about it too much. I'm think, I think at this point right now you are not even hearing me. Or I'm just rambling. Okay. Let me see something. Let me put this flashlight in your eye. Yes, his eyes. His eyes are dilated beyond control. He's he's feeling that DMT, you know? Let me take his temperature really quick. He's not even going to spit at me. He's almost gone. Oh, yeah. His temperature is low. Wow. I can... Uh, he's going to be... I need some water.